Well, a home in North Buffalo has kind of gone through an extreme makeover. Yeah, it may look like it's decked out in Halloween decorations, but instead what's hanging on the house goes well beyond the upcoming holiday. So we asked Channel 2's Michael Wooten and chief photojournalist Andy DeSantis to head to Colvin Avenue to get to the bottom of it. Just off busy Hurdle Avenue in Buffalo's North Park neighborhood. Kids like it. A head scratching house is catching everyone's eye. A little intimidating, but I, I know that's probably the point. It's the work of Sarah Hemingway. It just got finished. A piece of art with perfect timing. Kids will be trick or treating soon. But Halloween was not the inspiration. It was the combination of a shopping trip. I ran into a head at an um, antique store and it kind of sparked the idea. And lyrics from a Neil Young song she heard playing on the radio. He hides his head inside a dream. An appropriate message as we approach the spookiest of holidays. They're gonna put their heads inside whatever they're dreaming to be and it'll work out. It's been months in the making, face it. This took a lot of work. Drilled them, put wires through, applied the paint, put it up. Every time I got ahead, I just kind of calculated it and cut the boards and figured it out. Neighbors say it's no pain in the neck. People have been taking pictures. It's cool. It's cool. It's something. Do you like it, John? They welcome what they see. I appreciate, you know, them decorating. That's not to say there isn't some confusion. I think it's definitely provocative. I want to know what they're, what's going on there. There's definitely a message. You could say the message is in the eye of the beholder. Sarah hopes it makes people stop and think. Buffalo is a great art city and, you know, it's a perfect place to do it. Dozens of dead heads showing the neighborhood is alive. Sarah isn't sure how long the artwork is going to hang here. It may be up though till after Christmas. She may even throw some Santa hats on the mannequins. Michael Wooten, Channel 2 News.